Hello YouTube, it is cold out, it is barely 50 degrees, and it is May 9th, it is a Saturday. We're going to attempt to make a valve spring compressor tool to get the valve springs out of the 16 horse Briggs, and it has keepers like a car valve and little collars. Okay, 2 inches by 2 and a half inches, this is just how I found the scrap. We've got to, we're going to cut this in half, we're going to... Hold on. We had about maybe three quarters in. Can you see the lines at a half inch? Okay, we'll have two of these. Then we will shape it. We will probably drill like a three-eighths hole out here and then cut it out with the grinder. So we're going to make that piece that goes under the spring. And we'll probably have like the top one shaped kind of like a chisel where it's beveled so it slides up over the spring easier. So it might be but yeah it'll be beveled like here on the spring so this will be flat up in the engine on the block you'll see when we get done we won't get too far ahead of it let's get these two pieces cut in half we're going to mig weld them hope the welder works we haven't used it all winter long winter 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 no trouble with that word anyway let's get this cut in half we'll get it clamped in here we'll get everything all cleaned up these are old they're junky uh, we'll grind them as clean as we can so we get a good MIG weld because we're using wire with gas, not flux core. So, here we go. Okay, we've been doing some figuring. You don't have to really pay attention to this too much. I'll try to give you the dimensions when I'm done making it. Okay, the valve spring height is an inch and 716. Okay, so it has to be like that. So it goes over the top, goes over the bottom. So let's get down here. This ain't exact. I've played with these. Okay. But it has to get a memory. It's got to go over the top of the spring, slide in, and it has to go about. Okay, now the tap at 7 sixteenths of an inch diameter. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drill a 3 8 hole because the valve is smaller diameter. And then we'll just make the slot bigger at the bottom about a half inch. Okay, as far as how far it goes in, okay, it has to go in. The diameter of the valve keeper washed everything an inch and an eighth. So we're going to probably make that a little bit more. We're probably going to go in like five eighths of an inch to make our hole from the edge. And then we can modify it a little bit. You know, we can always grind a little bit more. So I think you know what I mean. You'll see once I get the hole drilled and start grinding on it. So we have to bend these. Uh... We got our, all we have is our propane torch. We don't have our big torch hooked up. We're going to bend these so they're straight to start with, okay? Because they naturally try to go straight when they're already flat. Well, we're going to try to make them straight when they're about this far open. Or whatever is exactly starting there. We got you in the Okay, we bumped the camera and screwed everything up, hit the wrong button. So you see what I mean, right? We want these straight, okay? See where the bottom one's straight? We're going to bend the top one, okay? So it's straight going in. There's no use in bending both of them, okay? And we're going to go back here a ways. So we're probably going to go back at least an inch and a half, okay? So we got plenty of room for for everything for the hole for the clearance so wish me luck on that uh first we're going to drill the hole we're going to drill the hole through both of them to start with before we start playing around but i think we're just going to bend the top so we go in the top's already flat i think you know what i mean i'm gonna have to review my clips there and see what happened because i bumped the button and it went to some goofy thing in the camera stay tuned we'll get this figured out well, it worked. There is a cupped washer up on the valve guide, and I had to make clearance for the valve guide so they're extra wide. So, I'll before I leave here, I'll tell you about how wide I made those. Barely had enough clearance to get these keepers out. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's no grooves on here like sometimes on a car. They're just, see that? There's no slot in the valve. They just set in there in that groove. There's not really a slot. It's there the width of the what this is. This looks really good. We'll show this in another video. Uh, 
I still say the clearance is off. We're gonna go check that. Okay. We're gonna pause the camera because we don't we're gonna wrap a rag around this before we take this apart so nothing goes flying across the room there. So see how I bent that? So it'd be more straight when it came up. We'll be right back when we get that spring out of there. Okay. This slot is about nine sixteenths. This one should be two because it wasn't quite enough. And it's about there's all kinds of markings on this rule. The big big scale there. It's about an inch. Bring it down here. It's about an inch back. Which would start out to be five eighths on center. But I just use the cutter blade. I use I just use my cutter blade cut back. And you're not supposed to use the sides of them, but I did smooth it up a little bit. And I tapered those. See where that's tapered? So I had to jab into the valve spring because that cup goes over it. If I can get that cup on there, I can put it all together with the cup on top. It's a cup washer comes over. And I'll show this in the valves. That's a rotator. This rotates. See? So you can spin this. There you go. I'm greasy. I'm out of gloves. What gloves I have keep tearing. So thanks for watching. We'll take a few pictures of this tool. And if you get brave enough to want to make one, this is all MIG welded. It's not one of my greatest welds, but uh, this I could not get hot on my propane torch, so I just got brave and bent it. And this is just some cheap steel I got at a supply store. It's probably an eighth of an inch thick. It's really cheap. I'm sure it is. Nah, it's that three. Probably like the three sixteenths or whatever. Not quite an eighth. You know that oddball and how they make oddball metal now. So thanks for watching. Enough of this. We are out of here. We're ready to take a break.